Welcome back to Checkpoint. I'm Mason Mundy. And I'm Barton Martin. Friday was a big day for many video games fans, with three major titles being released. October 20th saw the launch of Super Mario Bros. Wonder on the Nintendo Switch, Sonic Superstars on all modern platforms, and Spider-Man 2 on the PlayStation 5. These games were all announced at the beginning of the year and were highly anticipated by fans of each respective series. With them being released into the wild, fans finally get to see if the wait was worth it. Super Mario Bros. Wonder is the first new 2D Mario platformer in over a decade, with the last new game being New Super Mario Bros. U on the Wii U. Unlike the new series games that were all built on the same core engine and style, Super Mario Wonder goes for a brand new look gimmicks and gameplay. After the success of the Super Mario Bros. movie, the team put a good chunk of their budget into animation to make it look like the movie. The team also had no deadline for the game, so they could put any and all ideas into it. The player collects Wonder Seeds by clearing levels and completing Wonder Challenges. Wonder Challenges completely change the level the player is playing and introduces new gimmicks in every level that they're in. While being very different from every other 2D Mario game that came before it, Super Mario Wonder received very positive reviews, many 9 out of 10s and 10 out of 10s. The success of the game should hopefully show Nintendo that this is the direction the Mario franchise should continue to follow in the future. Next up, Sonic Superstars released on Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, and Xbox Series S and X, PlayStation 4 and 5, and the PC. The game is a direct sequel to 2017's Sonic Mania and was heavily advertised to be a completely new Sonic game with brand new worlds, reusing no zones from the classic Sonic games. Another big selling point was simultaneous multiplayer with up to four people, a first in the Sonic franchise. The game features multiple playable characters that all play differently from one another, including Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, and first time playable character Amy Rose. Despite the innovations, the game received 7 out of 10 by most critics, with GameSpot summing up by saying how the game's high are very high, while the game's lows are frustratingly low. However, for a franchise as inconsistent as Sonic, a 7 out of 10 is still a solid score and a good direction for the series. Finally, Marvel's Spider-Man 2 released as a PS5 exclusive, one of the few massive exclusive games from the platform. This game is a sequel to 2018's Spider-Man and 2020's Spider-Man Miles Morales, with Peter and Miles working together to save New York from Venom. With Insomniac Games' last Spider-Man games being revered as some of the greatest on the PlayStation 4, with amazing graphics, gameplay, and story, Spider-Man 2 had a lot to live up to, and thankfully, the game lived up to all of it, also receiving mostly 9 and 10 out of 10s. The game fully utilizes the power of the PlayStation 5 by pumping out beautiful, realistic graphics, fast combat, and extremely smooth swinging. The game takes the groundwork of the first two games and makes everything better and smoother. This game now leaves fans wondering if the story is over or will there be more. 2023 has proven to be a fantastic year for gaming, with these three games and Zelda Tears of the Kingdom and Baldur's Gate 3 releasing earlier this year to critical acclaim. Who knows what game will win Game of the Year? But all we do know is video game fans are eating good this year. So what are you planning on picking up? What is your thoughts on all these games? Let us know in the comments below. For all your entertainment, tech, and pop culture news, be sure to subscribe to Byte BSU and keep up to date with us on Checkpoint. The Neverland. Recording. Whenever you're ready. All right.